Hi guys, it's me, Holly. Um, some of you have been asking why I haven't been updating my vlog or my blog. The reason for that is I've been having a really hard time lately. My anxiety has been through the roof and I've been a bit depressed. Um, I've been having distorted thinking. I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but it's basically all or nothing thinking. Like, I'm never going to get better, or this isn't going to happen like this, or something's not going to change. That's distorted thinking. I learned about this in my mood group when I first attended them. Um, I've been going to my mood groups and they haven't really been helping me as much as they used to. I made an appointment with my psychologist and I'm trying to get into more programs, I guess you could say, like self-esteem and a women's walking group and basically anything that's going to help me with my anxiety. I talked with my caseworker today, Laurel, about the funding coming back for the programs that I used to attend, which was a Monday morning meet and greet, which was basically going and having breakfast with people who share the same problems as I do, people that are depressed or have bipolar or schizophrenia. Basically a place where I felt safe, and Wednesday lunch and learns, which is basically the same thing, but you have lunch and they have a guest speaker come in and talk about different things. The last one I think I seen was someone from the Binds, which is Brain Injury of Nova Scotia Association or something like that. That was pretty neat. I learned a lot of stuff about brain injury and kind of made me think about what I wanted to do. I've always looked into being a caretaker. I like being around people. I liked helping people. Whatever. Um, what else? I've been feeling frustrated with a lot of things lately. Um, as some of you might know, my computer has been messing up. I can't get to a site where I work at to work on things. Um, yeah, so that's it for that topic. I've been watching vlogs of other YouTube users about how they feel with their bipolar disorder or their anxiety or depression and I realize that I have a lot in common with these people. I feel like they feel, I feel like I can't leave the house without people judging me or I can't leave the house without being afraid. This one, I think her name's Foxy Noofy. I was watching her vlog and she talked about being aggressive when her anxiety is high and I realized that I get aggressive <laughs> when my anxiety is high. I get very frustrated with things and sometimes it just feels like I want to scream at the top of my lungs because I want to be alone and people bug me. Like the littlest thing, if you ask me how I am, I just... It's just hard for me. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. Obviously, my sleeping habits haven't been back on track. I've tried for the past week or so, and i basically given up on that thought. Because it's not going to change. There goes my distorted thinking again, I told you. Um, I feel like it's never going to change that I'm meant to be awake at night instead of during the day. Hopefully I can change my thinking habits because my thoughts affect my actions and my actions affect like consequences, something like that. I'll go over that with my next vlog. That's something I learned in my mood group. I have to have my paper because I have no idea. I forget it. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I hope everyone takes care and has a good night. And... I'll see you next time. Good night.